Qatar is often described as a country where past meets present. It has a lot of futuristic areas to explore. However, in today's video, we are going to be diving into one of Qatar's best kept secrets. Hello, Malhaba. Mr. Ahmadi. Welcome to Zulal Relax Resort. You arrive safe at your destination. I drive for you safe. I will be going on a guided wellness journey and recording my experience from the beginning to the end to see if this experience is truly transformative for my lifestyle. Welcome to the vlog. We are in Qatar, baby. I'm so excited to be here. I can literally combust. It's so gorgeous. I have met the most kindest sweetest loveliest most welcoming people ever like breakdown got to Qatar in one piece this is the most perfect place Qatar's so super safe I was at no point like worried concerned for my safety Numbio which is a Serbian crowdsource online database it actually crowned Qatar as one of the safest countries in the world so I feel like that kind of just adds to the peace and tranquility kind of energy that I was feeling here enough of the chit chat let's get right into this video I'm gonna give you guys a room tour this is a place where people come for serenity there's a few things which I've noticed already a few like practices here which which I think are really admirable they don't use like plastic here it's super sustainable the tea that I had depending on the time that you arrive morning evening or afternoon you have a different tea Now the tea that I had was because I arrived in the afternoon. Oh my! Ew. I'm gonna go and get some. I'm gonna go and get some more right now. And they also leave some in your room. Okay, so let's start here with the room tour. These are the three teas. We have cups and stuff to make tea. And a spoon. Sit right there. I'm gonna make you a cup of tea right now. I'm by myself right now, but I feel like we're here together. Okay. When you first come in, you have these wardrobes. You get a yoga mat, an umbrella, okay. got slippers, things to clean shoes, and beach bags. How cute is this bag? Next, come on, let's go this way. AC controls needed. The bed, bedside table, cute little alarm clocks. There's a booklet with a list of all the treatments. This man is looking so relaxed. We have a little seating area. Ooh. Area over here. I can't help but notice this fruit in front of me. I'm gonna try it. The texture is a lot like that of a lychee. I love Qatar, honestly. Like, I need to, I need to move to Qatar. This inside has this almost like black seed. nearly fell in so I tried to give a little visual and <laughs> see if you don't have a sense of balance don't do things that require a sense of balance but I'm just like looking around and like I'm just I'm just so grateful for this moment like this peace and quiet the nature the sound of the water I haven't allowed this thing One of my favorite features of the room is that it led onto this private beach area and the water that you're seeing is actually seawater. Seawater has a lot of good infection fighting minerals so I always put a little bit of seawater on my face 
and it makes your skin look just amazing and also my favorite thing to do is to just float in water whether it's a swimming pool the ocean and research has shown that being in proximity to water is a link to your brain releasing feel-good hormones like dopamine and it just calms you down well for me it does in all uh, if you can swim don't do this if you can't swim <laughs> The next step was to check blood pressure and to have a quick consultation. We want to know is that if you're having any allergies yes. or intolerances. Okay. Um, I have no allergies, no uh, intolerances. Yeah. We discussed any goals and also objectives for the coming week. So, if I'm to ask, like, what can be the main objective of being here? Is it just relaxation or do you would like to address this particular? I think my main aim is relaxation but also I came here because I kind of wanted to refresh to kind of like improve some habits. How often do you move in a week? Not very much <laughs> but I try to walk. I like walking. So human bodies. Then we came up with a treatment plan which compromised of activities such as stretching and you know, fit or therapeutic cleanse because we don't have any fried food in here. Sido was one of the restaurants. Now I have to say when I was told that there's no fried food everything is gluten free i wasn't sure what to expect most of them is gluten and we don't have any added colors any artificial sweeteners we don't have sugars we don't give milk to adults yeah. we give it only for children for adults we have some milk alternatives like a, any seed milk or vegetable based milk the pastry chef is just going by and of course i'd say which pastry dessert do you recommend and this is the red chai cake it sounds really good it looks really good so i feel like it's gonna be really good tasty test okay that is exquisite it's so light and fluffy this is incredible portions are also a little bit uh controlled why well, because we encourage something called as a mindful eating to chew more so that you're not bypassing an enzyme called as a saliva which will allow your body to absorb it very well okay thank you so much i'm good i had a consultation it was just like let's have just like an open conversation about my goals and the things that i want to implement moving forward and i'm going to share any tips or like advice or things that i pick up along the so way so there are a selection of treatments and massages including hot stone deep tissue physiotherapy massages so if you have any tension in your for me it's my upper back but any tension in your body it makes you feel so light if your goals are also weight loss orientated, you can also have okay. set meal plans. So we start from your low heart of your body first. So one thing I learned is because of the shoes that I've been wearing, it's crocs, okay, because of the shoes I've been wearing, I still love them, but um, the arch of my foot is not so supported, which made my feet more flat, which had a kind of a bit of an impact on my posture so i kind of learned some stretches and things that i can do to help reduce the effects of that first one we found that on your feet is have the fat feet is due to the mid back but when we go up to your upper part of your body start from your scapula area is still in line there's also high technology facials as well as pottery classes so you can unleash your creative side i actually really like pottery I tried to make a bowl that I could use to put my jewelry in. I used Pinterest for inspo and it actually it came out quite cute. It's yet to be painted though. I had a session, a stretching session in the studio and you do like a variety of stretches but you don't stretch. Somebody stretches out like your arm. So day two i spent the morning at the ladies only spa which i'm gonna show you guys because i'm gonna go there again in the evening i've never this is the best women's facility i've ever seen like in terms of the amount of space there is in the women's section honestly they're so respectful of women here brace yourself for the best ladies only facility you're about to see they do also have another building dedicated for men however this whole space i've never seen anything like it so if you are going to qatar add this to your to-do list i'm currently in the relaxation room i can guarantee it's very very relaxing so 
So we started off in this relaxation space. The curtains are white and flowy. It makes you feel like you're just in another world. And then we move on to the salt therapy room, which I will explain in a moment. I breathed in here for like 20 minutes. It's almost like I have, my chest was blocked and I didn't realize and it really cleared up my whole system. Halo therapy or salt therapy involves breathing in air with tiny salt particles to help improve your breathing and this is me telling you guys that the seats were heated but also it's really good if you have a lung problem such as asthma, bronchitis or a cough. I'm literally the only one here. So there's also not one but two heated baths and a cold plunge. There's a lot of benefits for cold plunges such as decreasing inflammation, immunity, it's good for circulation and your mood and metabolism. However, usually I actually am too scared to take cold it's plunges. It's our last day here so I'm just going to go for it, okay? We know what's the worst that could happen. Oh my god, it's so cold. It's actually not bad when you get into it. It's not bad when you get in. I've been so nervous. But it's, okay, that's enough for me. That's enough. I will say though, when you're in there, the only thing that you can think about is the cold temperature. I just would say, yeah, I feel more calm. There's also in pool massage features. This is the best ladies only facility ever. It's actually really relaxing. I'm just conscious of my phone. Oh, okay. Okay, now this is really interesting. It's like a shower in the room and I've never seen anything like it before. You go inside and it plays like <laughs> rainforest sounds and then there's another option which is like a tropical storm. Wait, let me play it so like you can kind of get a s simulation going. There's also a scrub and hammam area. I still have to emphasize, this is all ladies only. Could you believe? Now we're entering the Arctic cave. Wow, there is a room in here where you're in the snow. Oh, that's cold. That is really cold. How did they manage this? Look, I'm, walk I'm walking in snow. Oh God, it's cold. just had a pedicure my skin started to clear up because i went into the sea like sea water let me tell you guys i'm lying down right now that is what is happening i'm lying down i just got a manicure my beach bag and i'm in the ladies only s salon right now this is the quite a large ladies only salon for such facility this is where i'm lying down I think that I want to implement after this is just enjoying the peace and quiet of nothing, not doing things without being on my phone, being distracted, such as watching television shows whilst I'm eating. I'm not sure what's in the coffee, but it is so good. So I'm someone that is always on my phone, whether I'm cleaning, I like to watch youtube videos or whatever it may be so i feel like just completely shutting off whether it's even for 10 minutes of the day and you're mindful about it whether you meditate or pray or journal whatever it is that suits you is just so good for the mind and something that hopefully we can practice more Whilst we're on the topic of things that are good for the mind, this is the House of Wisdom with a carpet that was donated by Queen Elizabeth herself and the selection of books here are just amazing. If you have any book recommendations, please leave them in the description. Then we move on to the tea room which has yes, just the most say. incredible if selection of teas. The, uh, afternoon, yeah. we serve it to you, your immunity yeah. and also antioxidant and vitamin C. If you're right in the uh, evening, uh, actually we are focusing to more relaxing. Oh, it smells yeah. really nice.
evening tennis session. Grab your rackets, come on now. Oh, you trying to kill me? So in Qatari culture, the Sidra tree is the iconic symbol of the country's heritage and as you walk around in the gardens, you can find the Sidra tree as long as many other plants, each with their own beneficial properties. There was also a variety of children's rooms, each with their own unique theme, which I think was so cute and there was even a room for parents and children to bond and do things like get pedicures Climbed together. Climbed onto one of the rooftops for a better view. This we are currently having a look at this suite and this suite is so gorgeous. We're not we're not staying in this specific suite but our suite is still really really nice but it's connected to the beach. This suite is like reserved for like royalty the facilities are amazing there's a sauna steam room access to the beach processed foods and I just feel like I have a lot more mental clarity like I've, I love to eat and I love good food and I'm very like appreciative of you know all of the great food experiences I've had but I'm just kind of like reevaluating things I need to get it together in terms of my health and well-being and there's no gluten and I thought I could not go gluten free I thought I could not go sugar free but the key is substitution i'm just looking at the sea now i could spend forever just staring at the sea Outfit of the night for dinner. It's just cute. We are at a fine dining experience restaurant, and the restaurant is called Mal. We're in Malibu right now, baby. So the food is prepared by the right over there, and we're sat by the sea, and also by this beautiful pool area. 
it's so well lit and gorgeous so we're having this bread it's like the pastries here are all gluten free but they're so delicious this is my favorite thing the dip of today is sweet potato next we have a bread that matches my outfit also known as charcoal bread Ooh. thank you for the food the food is delicious <laughs> Muhammad as well. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> By one. Mm. I'm about to eat this meal that was so thoughtfully put together and I watched the whole process and I can honestly say it's not like watching somebody cook, it's like watching somebody create art and i just think it's so beautiful can't eat this now but i'm gonna eat it mm. the flavors just melt together so wonderfully Now it's time for dessert. We have date cake and also pistachio cake. Let's have a little taste of the date cake first because I absolutely love date cake so much. This is coming into this experience. I wasn't sure what to expect. And now it was definitely made and shaped by the wonderful people that I met and the conversations that I had throughout my time here. But my main takeaways were to prioritize your health because I had no idea how much mental clarity I would gain from just making a few lifestyle changes. And the second one is to make time for things such as the simple things, reading, stepping away, reflecting and taking time in nature to be fully present.